Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Hmm, that's an interesting uh, piece of information. At vendors, you can trade an iron ring and a skill gem for a resistance ring. Good to know. Um... <clears throat> So basically, where we left off, I uh, pretty much came through the submerged passage. And I made it on the other side. And I learned about the Goatmen. So, um... Let's see, what am I doing right now? Uh-oh, how do I open my inventory? Oh, yeah. The touchpad. <laughs> Uh-oh. <clears throat> Forgot for a second there what, uh, what I'm doing. Um, uh... Okay, so I'm empty and... Oh, wait a minute, what? Alright. So, my weapons. Let's do a quick, uh, <laughs> quick gear check. <laughs> Remember what the hell I have equipped. Uh, the Glinting Whalebone Rapier of the Pugilist. I really like this one. It's very nice. The Mosquito's Scare Mask of Steadiness. <clears throat> Giving me that, uh, bonus accuracy rating, uh, Increased evasion and energy shield, apparently, and uh, increased stun and block recovery, which is really nice. The Bramble Wrap Scale Vest. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, got a dexterity bonus, uh, some extra max life, some fire resistance, got some stun and block recovery. So that works nicely in tandem with that. I've got 20% stun and block recovery, which is awesome. <clears throat> yeah, uh, if you look over here on the right hand side, you can see, like, based on, I guess it kind of totals everything up for you, which is nice, I didn't even, I never really looked at this before, in the bottom right here, um, physical damage reduction, it goes all the way down, uh, you can see stun recovery modifier, plus 20%, um, I'm guessing it, um, uh, Block recovery is probably somewhere in here. I'm not sure. I never really looked at this. Oh. Um, maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, doesn't matter. I'm just kind of doing like a quick overview of what all my stats are and the gear I have on. Just so uh, you guys kind of know. <clears throat> Humming Iron Ring. So, uh, you know, additional physical damage, additional lightning damage to my attacks. Uh, barrel Coral Amulet of the Inuit. So we got some life regen, we got some max mana, and some cold resistance. Uh, got some Iron Ring of the Newt. Got some additional physical damage. And uh, a little more life regen here. And then we have the Copper Sword of Impact. Uh, this is also quite nice, I do like this. It's not the Copper Sword that I wanted. Um, which you guys probably saw in the last video, but oh well, I'm fine settling for this for now. I uh, got the accuracy rating bonus, uh, and more in- oh, that's increased stun duration on enemies. I don't think I have any skills that stun, so I don't think that matters right now. Thorny Rustic Sash, got a uh, increased global physical damage, we got some melee damage reflect, and then we have the Rift Road Rawhide Boots. <clears throat> uh, another dexterity bonus. 20% increased evasion rating, which is very nice. More cold resistance, more uh, max life, which uh, that always helps. And then uh, Agile Rawhide Gloves of the New. Got some more life regen here and uh, a little more evasion rating. So this is all very nice. <clears throat> yeah, fun. And uh, got some Orbs of Transmutation here. Uh, still trying to figure out how this really works. Uh, we'll get to that though. Uh, this ground slam skill that I don't have any weapons for yet. Some wisdom scrolls, some portal scrolls, alteration shards. Oh, almost have enough to make an orb. Um, some scroll fragments, transmutation shards. Oh, same thing with that. Almost have enough to make an orb. And then uh, alchemy shards. <clears throat> Alright, cool. So that's a quick uh, inventory recap. I got a medium life flask. Basic, basic small life flask, the Quicksilver flask. In give me that 40% increased movement speed every time I pop that. Uh, I've got the basic large mana flask, and we have a saturated medium mana flask of resistance. 
so this one, um, right, increased uh, amount recovered, uh, obviously, I think that would, I think it would be correct to assume that that means <clears throat> the mana that it's recovering, and then a 33% reduced recovery rate, which, um, I'm not sure if that's like the cooldown for the flask or if that means the rate at which my mana bar refills when I use it I'm really not sure so maybe I'll, I don't know try and pay attention to that later and see if I notice anything 20% additional elemental resistances while the flask is in effect that's kind of cool I like that so yeah this is all very fine and dandy <clears throat> uh, Total resistances are, we got a fire resistance at 11% over here on the right hand side, cold resistance 15%, life 200, mana 118, energy shield, that's damn near nothing, uh, 32 armor, and 208 evasion. So, <clears throat> that's a nice, <coughs> uh, I guess, <laughs> no pun intended really, but a, a status update of sorts. Um... All right, cosmetics, I still have nothing for that yet, so uh, we'll get there eventually, but anywho. So my quest uh, over here on the right, the Dweller of the Deep, travel to the Flooded Depths, optional. Wait, did I not go there? The way forward, travel to Prisoner's Gate. Okay, let me, let me do this optional quest real fast. Let me see if there's a, all right, where would that be? Um, the Dweller of the Deep is, oh, okay, the ledge, apparently I went there, but I don't seem to remember where the ledge is, oh, that might have been the last place that I, that I, uh, left off at was the ledge, I guess that area is called the ledge, um, so we're gonna go back here, we're going to go to the flooded, uh, whatever it was called, the flooded something or other. We're going to move these quest lines along. I'm going to try to, uh, now that I've learned a bit of, uh, you know, what orbs are, kind of how they work, uh, skills, how to socket them to get the kind of effects that I would want, uh, I'm going to start moving through this uh, uh, a little bit quicker. So now I'm starting to really get a feel for the game, which is, which is cool. Oh shit, that's not, fuck, that's not what I meant to do at all. Alright, what is, where is this right here? That's the mud flats, okay. Hmm. I almost forgot the controls for a second, so down is the map. Alright. <clears throat> oh boy, alright. Uh, I'm not gonna try to go through here and kill everything. Okay, to hell with that. <laughs> I was like, maybe I'll just start using the basic attack again. Nope. Why would I do that when I can just... Frost Blades! Oh, okay. Dead end. I wasn't even looking at my mini-map. <clears throat> Cold damage? Oh, really? That was good. Is fun. We love empty trunks. Oh wait a minute! Whoa, 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 whoa! How did I almost miss that? Uh oh. All right. Uh, okay. Keep going this way. Oh, hello. Extra fire damage. This is ridiculous. All right. Um. Do I want any of this stuff? On a flat? No. It's a basic. Basic? No, we don't want that basic shit. We don't want that basic shit. <clears throat> oh, hello. <laughs> oh, goodbye. Whoa. Oh, wait a minute now. Oh, more you 
useless items. Oh, we got a goat hide buckler. All right. <clears throat> I gotta start figuring out what... That's what I'm gonna try to pay attention to next time I go back into town. I need to figure out, like, what items that I trade to the vendor, like, what they give me in return specifically, because I'm sure it's not random. <clears throat> and I'm saying all of this to kind of, I guess, make it pretty clear that I'm playing this game blind. I don't know anything about it. I haven't looked up any guides or strategies or builds or anything. I'm really just... <clears throat> I'm probably going to make another character at some point, but this character is just the... This is the character that I'm going to uh, essentially learn spent. the game with. Uh-oh. So. Still learning the game. I mean, that's the fun of it, though, right? Oh, here we go. Flooded Depths. Alright, well, I don't need to roam anywhere else, so let's just go right on in there. <clears throat> Not trying to dilly dally about. <sighs> Not gonna be in here standing around with my dick in my hands. Whoa, I don't know what the hell those are. Copper sword. Oh, jeez. Drifting eye. Oh, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh. <laughs> These guys let off explosives, that's weird. Wait a minute, where's, where's that enemy? Uh oh, huh. Superior wrapped something or other. All right. Dead end. All right, let's head back this way. Let's head back this way. Oh, look at that. Got some bridges. Goat's horn? What? Oh, that's a wand. Okay. Nothing under the boulder. Alright, back across the bridges we go. Whoa, whoa. Dripping dead. Oh. What? Hello? Can you hit this guy? Man, I don't know if it just so happens that this early area of the game that these enemies just happen to be highly susceptible to ice damage or if Frostblades just does that much damage. I have no idea. I can't, I, I can't tell. I have no way of knowing what these enemies' weaknesses are. At least not to my knowledge. Like, I don't think there's, like, a bestiary or anything like that. Like, an enemy handbook <laughs> that the game, like, gives to you. At least none that I know of yet, so... Maybe we'll find out sooner or later. Oh, wow, look at that. Hey, hey, that's not nice. Whoa, they are hitting me with, uh... What I, I guess is cold damage? Rusted coif? Oh, we don't need that. Hey. Who said you could shoot your booty at me? Don't do that. That's not nice. Damn. Shield? Wait. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. I think I just figured out what that... What to me looks like a little, like, icy glaze on the right-hand side of my health orb. Or health sphere, whatever you want to call it in the top left corner. I I think I just realized... <laughs> this is going to sound silly for the people that, like, know this game well. I just realized that that is my energy shield. And it's so small that it's basically negligible <laughs> so it probably it like disappears with like every hit more or less Ooh. Wow. hey hey down you go 
Kill the Dweller of the Deep. Okay, so I gotta find this guy. I'm assuming that's that's the boss of this little area. The Dweller of the Deep. Oh, man. Dungeon crawling games, man. At its finest. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. I knew that was a boulder. I knew it! Wait a minute now. Wait, was I... Is this the same? No, it's not. It was the same bridge configuration, so I thought it was like the same area I was in earlier, but it's obviously not. Uh, huh. Uh, uh, okay. Huh. All right, let's let's take a look here. Where am I? Oh, uh, okay. So there's still more to the right, still more to the left. But the uh, north and south areas have been completely filled out. Let's just head back this way for now. <coughs> okay. Come on, man, lift the boulder. Dweller of the Deep. Okay. It must be on the other side. Let me see. Uh, let's go. Wait, what? Oh, those are doorways. Alright, where am I going? Okay, yeah, I'll just go back this way. I keep forgetting I have this blink skill that I'd never freaking use, and this movement speed blast. Shame on me. I should be making better usage of all the tools I have available to me. Yo. Die, please. Oof. That sounded like that shit hurt. before, but I totally forgot what I got from it. Wait a minute. What? That doesn't make any damn sense. I've already... Oh, I haven't gone everywhere. Okay, hold on, hold on. Still more to explore up this way. Oh, shit, another bone pile. Another portal scroll. <clears throat> Holy shit! <laughs> Fuck. No, no you don't. Is that the dweller? Is that the dweller of the deep? <clears throat> Two point arrow quiver. Yeah. Useless for me. Wait, what? Okay, that's not the dweller of the deep. Oh, hello. Here he is. Baby. Wait a minute now, hold on. Uh, let's hit you with one of these. Yep. Wait, what? Holy shit. Oh my fucking god, he just like evolved. Oh shit. There you go. Down with the Dweller of the Deep. Um, Two-point arrow quiver. Man, picking this shit up. Oh, 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 oh! Right stick to cycle through the items that you want to pick up. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, that's, I'm so glad I just discovered that. I was just thinking to myself, like, there's gotta be an easier way to pick these 
the specific thing that you want up off the ground. I don't want any of this other stuff. I think I'm good. Return to Tarkley for your reward. Alright. What the fuck? That thing looked like that was the Dweller of the Deep. Oh, there's just mad crabs around this motherfucker. They don't even do that much damage, yo. Come on. Soft ass crabs. Got them soft ass crabs around here. Okay, now I'm just now I'm just fucking around. <laughs> All right, let me uh, let me use the skill point. All right, what do I want now? I could get this. Man, that's tempting. Or do I already have that? What? Do I already have this? Ignore all movement penalties from armor. Plus 20 dexterity, increase the time. Oh, holy shit. Oh, I already have that, apparently. Oh, damn. That's what's up. Increased max life. Bravery. 24% increased evasion and armor. 8% increased max life. Ooh. Oh, shit. Well, right now, I don't feel like I need more life. Physical attack damage. And then what is this? Increase max mana? Okay. I mean, you use mana for skills, so I guess there's a point to linking that next to the physical attack. Oh, wait, no. Oh, wow, I was looking at something completely different. What was I just looking at? Oh, I guess I was panned on that. Oh, this is a... No, this is a complete... That's a mana skill. Oh, yeah, I don't need that at all. No, the hell with that. Uh, Master of the Arena. Like, I gotta... Okay, so, important... Important... Like, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? I'm at a very important crossroads, I would say, into this horrendously ginormous skill tree. I really need to, like, take a little bit of time here and look at what kind of skills that I want to start heading in the direction of. I think that's going to be really important. Uh, and like, sure, you know, maybe you could argue it doesn't matter because I'm playing on a character that I'm not even crafting any kind of specific build for, so like, what does it matter? Who cares? But I mean, I kind of just want to, you know, read through some of this stuff to learn like what the hell is what and where it is to know what I want so I can start kind of going in the right direction alright uh, master of the arena so 1% life regen uh, melee physical damage melee weapon and unarmed attack range okay 20 to strength hmm interesting requirements not met well you know duh um huh I don't know if I particularly care for that skill all right, how about, how about I do this? Instead of starting over here, why don't I just start looking in the direction of the skills that I've... And the color, at least the color of the skill points I've already been spending. So let's look at this green stuff. We got dual wheel damage. Okay, that sounds like... That's that shit I, I, I do like. <laughs> dual wheel damage. Increase weapon damage while dual wielding. Attack skills deal 12% increased damage while... Uh, with ailments while dual wielding. Ooh. Mm. That sounds dangerous. Int. Ah. I don't need that. What do I need that for? Well, it seems like this starts taking me over to, like, bows. Which I don't care about on this character, anyway. Uh, shield blocking. Don't care. Uh, accuracy and elemental resistance. That does sound nice. Weathered Hunter. 100 to accuracy rating, 15 global accuracy, 10% to all elemental resistance, 20 dexterity. That sounds very useful. I'm not going to totally write that one off. Um, what else do we got here? We have, uh, and obviously I feel like they put, you know, these like int nodes and strength nodes in between just for like some some kind of, you know, balancing as you're going along, I guess, one section of the board, so to speak. 
Wisdom of the Glade. Uh, that's a bigger int bonus. Beef, bigger strength bonus. More dexterity. Damage and critical strikes against blinded enemies. Well, I don't have anything that blinds enemies, so for right now that does not matter. Uh-oh, uh whoa. Go back. Go back up here. Oh, shit. Good lord. Um, okay. Channeling attack damage. What the hell does that mean? Channeling skills? No clue. Don't know. Moving on. Charging offensive. Uh, yeah. More channeling stuff? No idea. Okay. Uh, hmm. I mean, the, the dual wielding stuff I like. That sounds very nice. Um, I'll probably just start going in that direction for right now. Avoid status elements and elemental res avoid elemental resistances. I don't get that. Oh, it's avoid status ailments, and it also gives you separately elemental resistances. Okay, got it. Interesting. Cold damage, freeze, and chill avoidance. Thirty percent chance to avoid being chilled, avoid being frozen. Five percent chance to avoid cold damage when hit. Okay fire damage and ignite avoidance uh, sounds like a similar thing lightning damage okay crystal skin elemental resistances avoid elemental ailments Ele reduce elemental damage taken okay I don't think like I'm being bombarded with elemental damage like that just yet uh, mana yeah uh, attack speed and movement speed oh Fuck yes! Oh, I fuck with movement speed. There's nothing I love more than having the ability to increase my movement speed in a game. Man, I love that shit. I'm gonna have to make my way over here at some point. Um, yeah, mana, juridic right. <clears throat> uh, don't care. More mana shit. More movement speed, uh, more attack speed. I love it. I'm gonna try to work my way over there. Um, oh god. <laughs> uh, I really don't want to have to use a point on that node. And it seems I can work my way around it if I go this way. So I'll go here, 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 here. Maybe get some beef along the way. I don't know. I probably don't really need it like that badly. Uh, and then come here. And then uh, forget bows. Dex, dex. Uh, what is that? Oh, a jewel socket? <laughs> no clue. I guess we'll, we'll eventually get there. More deck stuff. More mana nonsense. Skill effect duration. Right now, don't care. More mana. Uh, what's that? Flask recovery? Uh, don't care. Life recovery? Yeah, that sounds very fucking useful. I'm sure, like, early to mid game, you're gonna want stuff like that. Um, evasion and accuracy, of course. Oh, yes. Accuracy, global accuracy, evasion, uh, 30%, it, god damn, 150, like, just a pure numer numerical value to evasion rating, and then an additional 30% increased evasion rating, like, my god, man, holy fuck, this whole node is about evading getting hit, oh man, oh, I fuck with that heavy, oh, I'm gonna have to get this. Projectile, nope. Movement speed, ah. I want movement speed, but I don't want to have to go through projectile to get it. Womp. Is there a way to go around? Uh oh, I think there might be. Dex, yep, Dex. Harrier, attack speed, cast speed, movement speed. I'll let that one slide just so I can get here so I can get here, so I can get the movement speed here, and then, whoa, yeah, so we can get all that, and then, global accuracy, maybe, if I really feel like I need that, maybe, life and life on kill, ooh, what, are you, life on kill, hell, fuck yeah, that sounds awesome, Alright, so I think I have an idea of which way I want to head.